Excuse me, mate. What's up, guys? We're here in my backyard in Rockhampton. It's time for me to give you another update. We've been here for nine weeks tomorrow. First thing I want to say is good riddance to this. I've had to wear a mask in all public places for the last two weeks. It's been terrible. I feel like an absolute idiot. I don't know how you guys have done it. We were so lucky in New Zealand. So lucky. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Whether it's because I'm not in control, whether it, whether it's because I, I, I don't actually have full control over what I can wear in public. I don't know what it was. But it put me in a bad mood. Thankfully, as of Thursday, today's Saturday, on Thursday, the restrictions were lifted and in Queensland, here in Australia, we don't have to wear a mask. That's the first thing. Second thing, I bought myself a, a pre-workout and that's because I am consistently going to the gym again, which is another change. And I've had to wear a mask at the gym for the last two weeks. So to go to the gym today with the pre-workout without having to wear that is gonna be absolutely sick. It's five o'clock p.m. It's gonna be a, an afternoon session. It's Saturday. Tomorrow marks exactly nine weeks since, since uh, arriving here in Rocky. And, you know, life, life's been going well. You know, I, I, I have to sit back and sometimes I'm, being an overachiever, you can sometimes actually get down on yourself. You can sometimes become depressed when you really shouldn't. You know, you can tend to beat yourself up about things, about not achieving things or about not achieving the things that maybe you thought you could or would in the certain time frame that you, you might have, you know. And at the end of the day, I have to sit back and, and take stock of what these last nine weeks have, have been like. And um, first, first of all, I'll say that, you know, I obviously haven't smoked any weed. This is gonna be, give me an opportunity to address in real time those vlogs that are coming out on my channel. I hope that anyone else out there who is interested in this or who is in the same position or who has been in the same position or who knows someone's in that position uh, that those videos can help in some way shape or form they've certainly helped me but I know they're not for everyone and I have to admit that I've lost subscribers every single time I up upload one but I'm not stopping yet I've still got six or seven more to upload so you know I've always backed myself with my content I'm never going to change the way that I talk or, or what I talk about or what I choose to publish on my channel due to a few people unsubscribing. Um, that's never gonna happen because I know that in this YouTube game, some are gonna hate you, some are gonna hate you and some are gonna love you. And at the end of the day, if you are who you are and you are yourself, then the ones who do love you still are the ones that you really want around. So for anyone who has given me support on those videos so far, I wanna say thank you so much. Uh, the, the last one that I put out was day 20. Today marks day 65 and I have actually made my final vlog of that series and it was on day 63. So that was the nine week mark. Nine sevens of 63, I made a vlog, my final one of the series on the nine week mark and that's gonna be it. Doesn't matter whether I smoke weed every single day for the rest of my life or whether I never do it again. I've said what I need to say in those videos and I hope they can help someone. Secondly, secondly, like I mentioned before, uh, I am going to the gym again, which is, you know, epic for my mental health and just to get stronger slowly but surely again feels good you know as someone who included training in their life for, for years and you know since I can remember and for someone who took it really really seriously and trained almost every day for the last 10 years straight to not have been in the gym has been tough but it's it's just it's just the way things the way the cookie crumbled since moving here you know what I mean I just couldn't get the motivation day after day after day and a week turns into two weeks turns into three turns into four and then you've really got to have some sort of shift some sort of you know spark to 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 get back in the game and that spark was you know I can't even say what it was it was just literally myself just literally forcing myself out the door and into that gym the first time, the second time I was forcing myself, the third time I was forcing myself, wearing that mask didn't make it any easier. But here I am having been in the gym pretty consistently for like two and a half weeks and I've got a pre-workout now. Uh, and so, yeah, things are going well. 
on the training front. Running. I ran my first marathon, as some of you will know, last year. I will be running my second race, my second long distance race. It's not going to be a marathon, but it will be a half marathon. It's going to be the Rockhampton Half Marathon, which is held next month on the 23rd. So today's date is the 17th of April, and so we've got about five weeks worth of preparation. I haven't been doing any running at all, so that's you know another goal that I'm going to bring in to my life to ah you know give me something to work towards. I don't I don't work well in this world without having something to work towards. So that's going to be good. Another thing is I have begun two new YouTube channels, Jake's Wild Water Sports and Jake Reacts. I'm sure if you've watched me for any length of time over the last few few weeks and months, um, you'll know about that. Both channels have a thousand subs, and both channels have the ability to be monetized. Now, the genre of video for both channels is not uh, monetized too often. You'd be lucky to get a video that you upload using footage from someone else's video, wherever it may come from, and actually be able to monetize that video. But what, what I've done is I've actually been able to build those two channels to a point where I can monetize videos. If I do find a topic or a, a, a you know a series of videos that can be monetized, I can actually make money off those channels. So at this very moment, I have three streams of income from YouTube. And you know, when I got to Rocky, I only had one. So when we go back to what I said before about achieving things, about you know, just sitting back sometimes and just saying, well, shit, what have you done? And and really thinking about it and being appreciative of it, I think that is something that I am proud of. I'm definitely proud of having three YouTube channels. I'm not going to say they're all successful, but I am uploading content on all three consistently, and I do want to grow all three still, including this one. So for a guy who loves YouTube, for a guy who, who calls himself a content creator and a YouTuber, that is pretty damn cool. I'm seeing my kids. That's pretty damn cool. Back in the gym, like I said, that's pretty damn cool. I've got a goal with the Rocky Half Marathon. That's pretty damn cool. And, uh, well, there's two fights I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. And UFC Fight Night, uh, Robert Whittaker versus Calvin Gastelum. So, being that I am in Australia, both those fights, being that they're on Saturday evening in the States, are going to be on Sunday morning slash afternoon for me here in Rocky. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I'll be watching it here. I've got the internet installed. That's what's allowed me to create content. Um, you know, life, life, is, life is good, I guess. Life is good. I'm not ruling out. Guys, I'm going to say this right here, right now. I don't know if I'll be uploading another Rockhampton update video, specifically. I think we've done enough. But I do want to say thank you for the support and I'm not ruling out going back to New Zealand. I'm not ruling that out because recently uh, quarantine free travel bubble has opened between Australia and New Zealand. They're the only two countries in the whole entire world to have some have a similar arrangement. And I'm going to take advantage of it at some point. So, you know, whether that's going back there for a holiday or whether that's leaving Rocky moving back to Christchurch and then coming back to Rockhampton for holidays. The decision has yet to be made. But for now, life is good. I want to thank you for listening. Thank you for the support. And for the next few videos after this, we will continue with the Quitting Weed vlogs. So, that's all I needed to say. I'm going to go and pick up my mask. I'm going to drink this. I'm going to head to the gym on my scooter and have a good workout. And I wish you a great day. So thanks.